Do you have a stack of blue jeans in your closet that don't fit anymore that you can repurpose? If you do, you can make a gorgeous tote bag like this out of your old denim or even this beautiful picnic blanket or weighted blanket or even a wall hanging such as this using some basic tools like June Taylor's Charming Circles Ruler. All you need to add to that is a little bit of starch and a glue pen and some assorted five inch squares and you can make these beautiful projects as you see here today. Let me show you how it works. No matter what Charming Circles project you're going to make, you're always going to start out with cutting round background circles. Today we're using denim, but you could be using something other than that. And the ruler is perfect for either marking or cutting. So for marking, you're essentially just going to take a marking pen, go all the way around the ruler, and you're going to use a scissors to cut that out. Or you could actually use a rotary cutter to do that as well. And then I would just be simply putting the ruler on top like this and taking my rotary cutter and simply cutting like this. Now I've got one of those cut out right here and that looks like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use the slots in the ruler to actually mark where that five inch square in the center is going to be placed. And that's the five inch contrast square that's going to go on the wrong side of the denim. So we give you these wonderful slots in here to mark. And you'll also note that there's a crosshair in here in case you want to be able to fussy cut any part of your five inch square. So now I have a five inch square cut that would go right in here. But say I wanted to fussy cut something. That's where this ruler is really handy. If I want to fussy cut this trailer, I would simply line up those crosshairs running right through the trailer like that. And then I can again use those same lines that I marked into to determine exactly where my outer edges are of the five inch square. And then you can go ahead and rotary cut that. If you happen to have one of our other tools, our charming shape cut ruler, this is perfect uh, for right-handed or left-handed people because you can cut tons of perfect five inch squares using the slots in this ruler. So now let's start out and begin. We have our circle cut and we have a five inch square cut right here. The first thing we're going to do is to glue this on. And to do that, we're gonna use our fabric glue stick today. This is a glue stick that goes on purple and it eventually dries clear. So we're just gonna put a little glue on the denim and it's nice that it shows up purple because you can really see where you're gonna get the glue and it will dry clear, as I said. You're gonna lay your five inch square over the top like this and just secure that into place. My pink circle and square unit is now complete. I'm gonna make another one similarly, only I'm changing out the center. And now what we're going to do is put the right sides of the denim together like this, but we're going to line up the squares. So turn your circle so that the circle is perfectly aligned and that your corners of your squares are aligned and simply put a pin in like this and you're going to sew across the top of one of the squares. And I have got that done here. So I've sewn across the top of the green square and you can see what it looks like when I open this up and you can see what it looks like on the back. We're going to add another unit of circle and square and this time it's going to be the orange. So again, what I'm going to do is denim goes right sides together and you're going to make sure that the points of the squares are lined up and I've got to kind of turn it a little bit. You can use your thumbs just to make sure they're fairly lined up. Put a pin in and stitch across the top and I've got that done here. So here's my stitching across the top. And again, here's what that looks like when it's sewn. These little petals are just gonna be flapping for now. I'm gonna add a fourth unit on here and I'm gonna add the purple. So we would again do the same thing. And that's done here. So I'm beginning to form my row. 
This is how the row is made and you can make this as wide as you want it for a blanket or whatever your project calls for. To join two rows, you're going to make a second row identically to the first, changing out the inside squares if you like. And then you're going to sew rows together by simply denim right side to denim right side and your fabric square sides are up and you're simply going to line these up again, pin them in place, and make sure that the petals are open on each side and sew all the way across the top. So petals are open, circles are lined up, and sew across the top. When that is complete, it is going to look like this. So my two rows are sewn together. This is what the back looks like. You can see all those different denim colors here. Now we're gonna get um, a pressing mat out and we're gonna get our starch out. This is our starch savvy. And what our starch is gonna do is help us flatten these flower petals. So let's get our iron and our starch and we'll get our pressing surface here. And we are just gonna add some starch. We'll just do this first floor set of four petals for you. And you want to let that starch soak in a little bit because if you don't, you're just going to evaporate it right away. And you're going to press until all those petals stay open. So we'll do these four, but you're going to repeat this in the same manner. It's completely starching all of those petals open like this. And then if this were the finished corner of our blanket, we would actually fold down the top and fold in the side and starch and press that as well. When all of that is complete, you are going to sew a quarter of an inch away from the edge around each petal. And if this were our corner, and this is down and this is down, you would sew a quarter of an inch away from the edge here, a quarter of an inch away from the edge here, and here. And I've got that done for you so that you can see what that looks like. That's done right here. So you can see our quarter inch seam line right here and here. And then my next step to finish off this corner would be to fold this under and stitch a quarter and fold this under and stitch a quarter. So after all of those quarter inch seam lines are in, we've taken this unit and we've thrown it in the washer and then the dryer. And you can see how this just fluffs up so nicely. If you want to fluff it a little more, you can even take a toothbrush and continue to fluff it like this but that is how you get that shabby chic look. Now we showed you an example earlier of another way to finish off your blocks. Um, in this particular example, for our fabric, we used our inkjet printable fabric sheets, printed photos onto fabric, and then we used our ruler to actually center the motif in the ruler. And what we would do then is literally take those crosshairs, go right in the middle of the photo, mark along here and cut our square. And we use that for the centers of our squares. This time, however, we didn't sew a quarter of an inch from the edge. We actually sewed those petals down right on the edge and we used a decorative stitch. You'll notice we all use the same denim throughout. So let's turn this over and look how gorgeous this is on the back one denim color and that stitching shows through all the way. So it's beautiful to have a stitched finish, but it's also fun to have that shabby chic kind of um, textured finish as well. This is an actual tote bag and we have a pattern for this on our website. Um, but how many blocks would you make? For something like this, you actually need 27 sets of circles and squares. As you can see, there's rows, of, there's rows of three on the front, three on the back, and then there's one down the side and across the bottom. So you're using 27 of those sets. We also use the waistband of the jeans to, to make the straps, 
and we even use the belt loops in here. And here's our finished weighted blanket or quilt. Isn't it gorgeous? It has been washed and dried and you can see that that fluffiness around the edges or that shabby chic look is really apparent. It's so gorgeous. Now remember, all of these blocks finish at five inches square. So for you to decide what blanket you want, you just pick your blanket width and height and divide it by five. And that's how many of these blocks you're gonna to need to make. Now we've used denim for our quilt, but can you use flannel? Absolutely, flannel does a good job of kind of fraying like this. Or you could use fleece if you want. You pick the medium and you put, pick what you want inside the squares and you can make a unique blanket or project for anyone. Remember to visit our website at www.junetaylor.com and Taylor is spelled T-A-I-L-O-R. We have some project sheets that are available for you free of charge that you can download this pattern as you see behind me, a tote bag and even a pillow. So enjoy making your projects with this Charming Circles ruler and your favorite fabrics.